right, welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Baltimore Orioles. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set. And towing the slab in this one, Cade Povich. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. That's that one missed. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's Andres Jimenez. And a pitch. One out, base is empty. Next offering is downstairs. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for strike three. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Nope. That's down and in. Two outs. And a big swing and a miss. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. here in Baltimore and on the mound today Tanner Bybee how about a scouting report on him well he's been a real quality starter for his club and coming into this one what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year it seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone so we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one ready to go for the last half of the inning now it's going to be Gunnar Henderson Next offering upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. He's got it. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. One thing these players do very well is stay out of the double play. They've hit into the fewest of any team in the league, Chris. Well, Boog, we don't see situational hitting as that art as much as we used to because hitters are slugging the ball, they're hitting it over the fence. But when you see a team that has the ability to shorten up, hit behind runners, and go first to third or first to home, man, that just adds to the element of what you're able to do in other ways with the bat. So opposing pitcher better not walk anybody or give them free base runners because these hitters know what to do when runners are on. One of my favorite stats all time, 1997, the Hall of Famer Craig Biggio played in all 162 games for the Astros on Astro turf, and he never hit into a double play. Brennan makes the grab, two down. Batting four, the first baseman. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to him. Rutschman off of first with two away. Oh. 
And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. Ripped on the ground a second. Toss to Naylor. That's the third out. Inning over. And the Orioles leave one. Scoreless after one. Back now at Oriole Park. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. Next offering is in for a strike. So as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Throws to first in time. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Here's the third baseman, David Fry. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it, and he beats it. He's safe. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Run around at first with one gone. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. In the air, left field. Kowser squeezes it. Out number two. Now it's the shortstop. Two outs. Pitch misses there. And a count two and one. Just missed. Step off, throw to first, no, and he there. dives back in safely. Three one, and he nope. couldn't come up with it. So to a board and two out, scoreless game. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. Two on, two outs. Ground ball, left side. That's the third out. Guardian strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. pitch swing and a pop off in foul ground Fry makes the grab one away digging in Colton Kowser the pitch line drive Base hit. So the man aboard now with one away. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just Hooked stayed up. through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. One down. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. One one down. And that's in the dirt.
No score here in the second. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two-two now. Inside just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Batting it. The third baseman. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Kowser leads off first with two down to the inning. Check on the runner. Kowser back easily. The 2 1. Way out front for strike two. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. And he deals. There goes the runner. Got him. And that is that. One left for the Orioles. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. Here's a 1-1. And that one sliced foul. A line to kick the pitch. Ground ball right side. And he grabs it. Foul. The lefty fires. And another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Got him swinging. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Steven Kwan will hit next. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Man at first with one gone. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. On the ground, two ball. Mateo. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Here's Jose Ramirez. Ramirez signed a five-year extension on opening day in 2022. What a great day that was. And Cleveland is still the only team Ramirez has ever played for in the majors. He was signed in 2009 out of the Dominican Republic. Two outs. That's a laser base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And now it's Josh Naylor. On the ground, right side. And he can't come up with it. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. Guardians strand a couple, and we're still knotted at zero.
as we go to the last of the third. Jorge Mateo now. Righty delivers. And the right hander deals. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Stepping in, Gunnar Henderson. Still tied at zero, last of the third. And a strike in there. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Offering upstairs. Outside, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth, and that is bad. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. pitch late on that fastball a one two count all he's seen is fastballs you've got to expect something off speed stay back Henderson over at first with one away got him swinging and that's strikeout number 100 on the year. He came out of his mechanics there. Number Typically six. likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. left field line should be extra bases rounds third headed for the plate relay throw home he's safe well done drives in the run solid double down the line and that was a pretty decent pitch that he just turned on not really out over the plate it was inside but he was more than ready to get that back through the zone so up next Ryan O'Hearn And it's second. There's a swing and a drive. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Now he launches a throw over his head. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And it's second here with two away. Anthony Santander at the plate. And foul ball. Two runs across in the inning here in the last half of the third. And another ball. That one misses. Full count now. On the ground, right side. Naylor steps on the bag, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete.
It's the Orioles two and the Guardians nothing. And we're back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, David Fry. The 1 1. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. And he walked him. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. The Guardians trailing by two, top half of inning number four. Double play ball to second, flips it behind his back. Throws to Henderson, over to first, safe. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And the batter will be the shortstop. And that's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. First and second, one out. So in now for Cleveland, Tyler Freeman. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Off the mark there, three and one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. And now the lefty. Swung on, belted. Mullins going back on this one. It bangs off the wall. Here comes the runner. Safe. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Two on, one out. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one for strike two. Two fair. Left-hand batter waits. And that one lifted in the air center field. Mullins makes a nice running catch. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, we got ourselves a new ball game. Nice job right there at the plate. Sacrifice fly, and he gets in the tie and run. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Quan checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. Man on second, two down. A little out front there as he swings through it. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. 2-2 Two -two now. That one the other way. Makes the catch in and over. They get two and draw even again. We're midway in the fourth. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. to go bottom four and now it's going to be Colton Kowser well after scoring runs this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning get that hot team back in there to swing the bats swing and a miss as he was late one ball two strikes 
throws the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. That's in there. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Off the mark there. And the count is two and two. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Good eye in that spot. Fastball right back to the mound. Fires over to first. Already two gone here in the home fourth. So digging in, Ramon Urias. And another ball. Two out, space is empty. The next offering misses. Three balls and a strike. Fought off foul. Three two now. Fly ball down the line. And that's a foul ball. This to third. Tosses across the first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Orioles held in check there. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Number 49. Well, you see the ERA very solid, and that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. The second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Ball on a strike. Try to get him to chase on the changeup that time. We got two balls, one strike. Fouled off. He was late. Next offering is in the dirt. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's Jose Ramirez. And nope. delivers outside. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Jimenez gets his lead at first with nobody out. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. In there, sets him down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. And now here is Josh Naylor. Nabs it. David Fry now at the plate. Whoa. 
The pitch. Runner on the go. Ball outside. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. And we're at the top of the fifth. Line drive. And a base hit. Coming around third is Jimenez. He will score, and they take the lead. 3-2. Well, there you go, the RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Now it's the right fielder, Will Brennan. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And that is that. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Baltimore, we head to the bottom of the fifth and into the box for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. Fouls one away and now three and two. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Pickoff move to first. Mateo back safely. Breaking ball inside, and it's two and one. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Two one now, and there's a ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Righty deals. Out to center. Makes the grab. The catcher, number 35. Adley. The pitcher on here, Logan Allen. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Here's Adley Rutschman. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Snap throw to first. Mateo back safely. The two on and fouled off. And another ball. Put a off that pitch down. Ryan Mountcastle waits on deck. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. 
couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And now, Ryan Mountcastle. Next offering in there for a strike. Now one to two. The Guardians leading by a run last half of inning number five. Next one misses and the count is even two and two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Darren McAllen, the rookie right hander is getting loose. McKenzie getting cranked up as well. Now snap throw to first. Mateo back safely. In the air, right side. Brennan moving under this one. Brings it in for the third out. And the Orioles leave one. And it's still a 3-2 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the shortstop, number 10. Daniel Schiene. The wind of the pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. He handles He's it himself. Out. Now one gone at the top of the six. So up next, Tyler Freeman. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Next offering upstairs. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile Whoa, or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. So, man aboard. And up next for Cleveland, Bo Naylor. Left-hand hitter waits. Runner takes off. Go to second. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit-and-run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. And another ball. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. No runs, no hits, no errors. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. Guardians three and the Orioles two. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. And a pitch to the right side and that chance handled in plenty of time to first and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth now right. Anthony Santander the next to hit for the Orioles the pitch Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Tim Heron appears to be getting loose. One down, base is empty. Fouls one off, two and two.
That one missing inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Not a great curveball there at all, but clearly he wasn't looking for it because it just dropped right into the happy zone. And it looked like, to me, the swing was a little bit late. Tells me he gave up on it early and then just tried to have that emergency hack at the last second to put it in play. And now Colton Kowser. Home team down a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're down three to two. Welcome now, back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Keegan Aiken. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here. So we'll see how it works out. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Stephen Kwan. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. That's a strike, and it's one and two. Comebacker to the mound. Sends it to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Now that. Now at the plate, Andres Andre Jimenez. Jimenez. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. That one is gone. He flexes his power with that swing. Home run number five on the season. It's 4-2. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but... I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. So one out, nobody on. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. That ball one two. off the mark, and it's two and one. Late with the swing there. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The punch out there. That's the second out. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. So here's the cleanup hitter, Josh Naylor. And here it comes. Warning track. Wall. And you can touch them all, baseball man. He'll touch them all. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add on. It's 5-2. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Ryan Baker taking over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Two outs, space is empty. And now, David Fry. Ripped, but it curls foul.
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Just off the outside edge, and it's two and one. Movement in the bullpen. Dylan Tate, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Perez also throwing. Fry, the runner at first with two gone. And that's a little bit high. And the count is three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Two outs. And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's the shortstop at the play. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. The Guardians trying to break this one open. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Eight. That time it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Two on, two outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's 5 2. Bottom of the seventh, leading off, Cedric Mullins. The Orioles in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid-off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Up and in, ball two. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. And a curve misses outside. And down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. One down, base is empty. And now two and one. Right through there for a strike. The Guardians leading by three. Here, the bottom of the seven. That one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. And that's ball too four, high. Five. Ball four. Up next for the Orioles. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's the second baseman, Jorge Mateo. Man at first, one away. And that's off the inside edge. And a count two and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. This to center field. He makes the grab. Now that not shortstop. And next for the Orioles, Gunnar Henderson. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Here's a 1 1. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. This guy's and a swing and a miss. 
and that's the inning. One left for the Orioles. They trail at 5 2. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. CNL Perez. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Tyler Freeman digs in for the Guardians. The center fielder, number two, Tyler Freeman. And the pitch. Aye. On the ground right side. Takes it himself. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Stepping up for the Guardians. Bo Naylor. That one way outside. Two and one. Activity in the bullpen. Dylan Tate is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Here comes a pitch. That missed by a lot. Now three and one. Clearly he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Two down, nobody on. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base now is going to have a very aggressive base. secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Perez no, checks over to first, and he's back. The first with two away. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Thank Next you. offering is down low. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Jose Ramirez. Next to bat for Cleveland. 3-2. That smash towards center. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Guardians leave one, and it remains 5-2. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 36. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And now the catcher comes up to him. Adley Rutschman. The catcher. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, trying to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Swing and a miss. Two and two. <laughs> and miss struck him out one gone to the bottom of the eighth well oftentimes that's the pitch he's trying to set up the curveball he'll lean on it pretty heavily so you got to be expecting it look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it 
Next to hit, Ryan Mountcastle. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't That's chase that field. time. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Now a chance for Ryan O'Hearn. So now one and two. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. The Orioles trailing by three here the bottom half of the eighth inning. That's pitches downstairs. Riding to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Misses. And now it's three and two. Swing and a miss struck him out. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Anthony Santander. The next to hit for the Orioles. Next offering in there for a strike. And that is strike two. Two outs. Just nope. misses with that one. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And the Orioles leave one. And the deficit remains 5-2. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Dylan Tate. He's been so good against lefties. Now it's the DH, Jose Ramirez. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. The one two. Fouls it back with two strikes. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. This one in the air. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. Third baseman. David Fry. Two outs. Base is empty. Now the third baseman. David Fry. Two down. Nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right hander kicks to 